So Pioneer's making some bold moves. This is the world's first Alpha Theta controller. This is the first controller from Pioneer that's not a Pioneer. I never thought I'd see the day, but it's here. And it's pretty wild. Let's take it out of the box, shall we? And here it is, people. The Alpha Theta Omnis Duo, or Omnis Duo. I don't even know how to say it, to be honest with you. But regardless, this is a two-channel battery power controller, and it's got some features that we've never seen before, ever. Now, first impressions, this thing definitely feels and looks like super modern and sleek and expensive. Like, I don't know, I just, I really do like, like the overall look of it. It's more simplistic. There's not a lot of labels on the front. It's a lot different than Pioneer products. Like they're clearly making Alpha Theta its own thing. Cause like the knobs are different. The faders are different. The pads here are different. The platters are different. Like even the lights, like when you play a song, they light up white and yellow instead of like the green and yellow and like the red and all that. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure this goes red, but it's white and yellow instead of the green completely different. It also clearly has this crazy indigo color, which Pioneer says they did because it represents the versatility of denim jeans. That's what's up. I don't know. It's kind of like, at first I'm like, why is it this color? Because it doesn't come in any other colors. Like this is the color that it comes in, indigo. But it's kind of growing on me. I do like it. I mean, typically, you know, I feel like you might be able to relate like most DJs, you know, we like black speakers, black controllers, black mixers, black cars, black t-shirts. We like our shit simple. We usually don't do colors. You know, this is a bold move by Alpha Theta making this a color. But if you see it in person, it is nice. And it's like, it's this flat color too. So there's no fingerprints or anything like that. It's not like a shiny one. Like this is all like a flat matte color. And I think that is, hard like real sick like i love the mat like i wish all mixers were because you, we all know how the stupid dirty fingerprints can be and you know sometimes you want to be able to eat some fries you know and, and not have to worry about some smears let's be honest that it would probably still smear with fries anyway now on the back here you have your standard ports right so you have two mic inputs the mic one is a balanced quarter inch and then the mic two is your balanced quarter inch xlr combo jack which is Pretty wild how it's kind of reversed, you know what I mean? Like usually mic one is the combo jack and mic two is the quarter inch. Whatever, I'm not asking questions. Has an attenuator right here so you can adjust that, which is really clutch. There's two master XLR outputs. You have your booth RCA master. And then over here, you have a USB-C that would go to the computer if you wanted to use it the old fashioned way with like record box. You have a USB-A, which is great for a thumb drive like I have in here, an SD port for, you know, music. And then this is the power, this is to charge it. It's a USB-C uh, charger. And it's cool because like now these controllers are coming out with like actual like USB-C chargers. It's amazing. Like you can use the one they give you or you can use any type of like 45 watt block to charge it, which is just clutch. It's versatile, you know? Like if the charger breaks or you lose it, it's a universal cable. So you can just grab your MacBook charger and charge it. There's a million things you can use for this. So I love the versatility there. Now mix around on this thing. Everything feels great. It works really well, right? Well made, like I said, but keep in mind, like the faders are a little smaller than Pioneers. The uh, These buttons, these pads are a little smaller. Obviously the platters are smaller. So this wouldn't be like my main controller. Like if you're like into scratching and all that, I can cut on this, but it's definitely not like my first choice. Like, you know, this is not like a scratching controller. It's not meant for that. It's great for just mixing music and all that. And where this thing shines and kind of blows everything out of the water is the versatility of its outputs and inputs. Like, first of all, let's talk outputs, right? You got an RCA in the back, you got your XLRs in the back, but you also have a Bluetooth output, meaning, you can hook up any Bluetooth speaker to this thing and it'll play through the Bluetooth speaker, which I've never seen ever. Like this is the world's first ever controller that you can literally hook up to a Bluetooth speaker. So if you got a Bluetooth speaker at your house, like a regular one you bought at Best Buy, this thing will work with it, which is pretty nuts. You could even hook this thing up to Bluetooth and DJ on the next road trip, be the car DJ. I mean, how crazy is that? Now when it comes to inputs, this thing is crazy, right? So obviously you could hook a computer up and do it the old fashioned way with record box. You also have the USB flash drive where you could pop it in the back and the SD card, you could just pop it in the back. And the cool thing too about this, which makes it really easy, is you don't have to like export music out of record box. Like you can obviously, and it'll work so you can have all your cues and everything. So if you're a record box user, you know, obviously like it's better to do it through the record box because you're gonna have all the metadata, you're gonna have all the, everything saved in there, right? It's gonna just be ready to go. But with this in particular, you could literally just put music on an SD card or music on a flash drive, plug it in and play it. And that's it. It works that easy. So like if you're gonna use this for something like ceremonies, you don't have to have record box and learn how to use record box and export it this special way and yada, yada, yada. You could just stick a USB flash drive in your computer, toss the three ceremony songs on there and a mix and bam, plug it in the back and you are good to go. And it works 
flawlessly. So like, there's no real learning curve with this thing. Like it just works in a million different ways. On top of that, you wanna know what's really, really nuts? You can hook your phone up to this thing via Bluetooth, okay? And play any audio source through the controller, not through like some aux knob or whatever, literally on channel one or channel two, and you can mix with it just like you'd mix with a regular song. So you could pull a song off YouTube, load it into channel one, the waveforms will come up, you could put cues, you can apply effects, everything, just like a regular song that you would have on your flash drive or on your computer. You could do that with YouTube, Netflix, anything. Anything on your phone can be loaded on here which is bananas. This has never been done before ever. This is the first of its kind. So let's play around with it, shall we? All right, so let's try this out. So basically what we gotta do is we gotta click up here and then it brings up your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi menu. Then on my phone right here, I'm gonna select the Omnis Duo. Okay, we're gonna pair. Yes, okay, we pair here. Bam, now we're paired. So now it's connected, I can play any audio source from my phone. Now if you select Mixer, that's basically just gonna play like to a channel, but you're not gonna be able to manipulate it or do any DJ stuff to it, right? So we wanna select deck, and then I'm gonna select load for one, right? Load deck one. Now we have it on channel one. Look at that. And another huge tip that I always do is I always ask the venue to turn off the HVAC system or the heating or whatever, but the air in general, during the first dance only, that way you don't have any drap, 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 it's gonna mess up your clouds. How crazy is that? Like, how crazy is that? And I think it's cool because, all right, number one, right, if you're using this at a party or something and you got a SoundCloud rapper that wants to play their song and he gave you a hundred bucks, you could literally hook his phone up to this thing and play it, no problem. Or it's meant to, I feel like if you're in a campground and you're, you're jamming out with your friends and someone wants to hook into their phone and play something off their phone or whatever, I don't know, it's just a versatile thing. You know, it can definitely get you out of binds and, and it's just, I don't know, the, the possibilities are endless. It's just a first of its kind feature that's just pretty wild to me. Now, in addition to Bluetooth, of course, this also has Wi-Fi, so it can hook into any Wi-Fi network, so you could play songs off the cloud and stuff like that. Technically, it does not support streaming services yet, and I say yet because, like, of course it's going to. Like, why wouldn't they, right? I mean, they, they didn't tell me anything. They said no, not at this time, but I think it's just because it just takes a little longer for them to get the streaming services to work with the new products and stuff. I, it's gotta be that. So I'm assuming you're gonna be able to stream on BeatSource and all that good stuff very shortly after the release, you know, and, and they'll have an update and all that, but you know. Oh, and there's onboard effects built right into the controller, which is a huge plus in my book. To activate it, you just push this little effects button and then they have eight different effects. You got the delay, echo, trans, flanger, spiral, reverb, pitch, and roll, which is is very, very cool. Now, the downfall about this is the only way you can use these effects is by touching the touch screen. So it's kind of like you gotta, there's not like a dedicated like button or knob or anything. So you kind of gotta work that in with your workflow, but it's pretty easy to access. And like I said, this touch screen is super responsive, super quick. So, you know, once you get used to it, it's not too bad, but whatever, at least it's onboard effects and you know, they're not forcing you to use the, uh, your DJ program's effects, which are usually a little poopy. You know, they're not as good. The onboard effects are always best people. Now let's take a look at this touch screen. So you got the waveforms here. Now what's cool is you can actually adjust a lot of different settings on this. First of all, the waveforms can be super big, like I like them, or you can do them super small, right? So you can basically see the whole song. So you can adjust it right there just by holding this. You can uh, adjust it any size you want there. You also go over here to the settings, lots of different settings in here. You can have RGB waveforms, just blue waveforms or the three band. Your EQ settings, your crossfader settings are located here, vinyl speed adjust, uh, your quantized beat value and the mics high and lows are all in here. If you click up here, this is where your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth live. You got your battery life, literally three hours and 10 minutes. There's also an eco mode, which lowers the consumption, which is pretty cool, right? Brings the screen down, everything. So, you know, if you got the party going, you, you, you wanna keep it going just a little longer, the eco mode works. The display brightness is right here, so you can adjust how bright the display is. And then, one of, the, one of my favorite features of this whole thing is you have dark or light mode. So you could do it light or dark. So any type of situation you're in, you're doing this outside, it's gonna work great. And uh, you're gonna be able to see this beautiful screen, no problemo. And the whole workflow of this thing is great. So like you wanna load a song, right? You got a song playing here. 
Then you go from waveform over to browse. You got all your music located, your sources and whatnot. You just pick what song you want to load. You pick what side you want to load. It loads right here. And then bam, you could play that as well. Nice and easy. And I just, I can't get over how fast the response is. And just like, they, they got to have a mean processor in this bad boy. Now the Omnis Duo is going to be available in late February for the matte price of $14.99 USD. And I don't know, you tell me in the comments, but I think I'm going to get this thing. I really like it. I, I think the versatility is amazing. And I'm the kind of guy that like when I go to parties or when I go hang out at a friend's house, watch a game, whatever, I like to be in charge of the music. I like DJing all the time. I just love to DJ. And like this thing, you could, it, you could DJ anywhere with it. You know what I mean? Like I just want to have this as a part of my arsenal. You know, I think it's just going to come in handy, ceremonies, everything, cocktail hour. It just, it, it works well and there's just so much you can do with it. I'm a believer, but you tell me, let me know in the comments. Are you going to get it? What do you think about this? Let me know. And as always, I appreciate everybody for watching and I'll see you at the next one.